Jeffrey Panamera. And I'm Andres Guzman. And you're listening to Film Q, and today we have two guests. Kenneth, Mackenzie, introduce yourselves. Hey, it's <laughs> Kenneth. What's going on? I'm Mackenzie. <laughs> Job, <Hi>. guys. <laughs> <laughs> Greatest Hello. introduction yet. <laughs> Wait, um, before we get rolling, I just had one amendment from last week because I don't want to sound like such a pompous asshole. I do, in fact, like horror movies. I just don't seek them out as much lately just because, I don't know. You get into moods, right? Yeah. Everyone gets into moods. They want to see a specific I, oh, yeah. I, I make my ways out to watch a lot of them in theaters, but I can admit most of them end up being kind of bad. Yeah, you don't, yeah. So you're not usually saying much beneath, like, trying to scare you right i watched insidious yeah. chapter two recently it was good it just they don't stick with you i guess is what mm. i'm trying to yeah. say although it follows had some stuff going on that i really liked and the babadook and the babadook yeah the babadook. i'm sorry the babadook? the babadook you have to watch the babadook, the babadook. got it right <laughs> you have to spell it out <laughs> yeah. sounds like nonsense. one more time i heard you <laughs> the babadook. The babadook. The babadook. Yeah. that wasn't the problem slow down guys <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> babadook he's making stuff <laughs> <laughs> that's not a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I guess we'll just jump right into it. The topic of the day, we're just gonna have, we're not doing a movie of the week this time. We're just talking Spider Man 3, good or bad? Ooh. Good. <laughs> nope. Yeah. No, no, no. So, as you can hear from that reaction, so many feelings. it's basically just a three on one with <laughs> me being the sole defender of this uh, crap. Much. Oh, <laughs> Unfairly maligned. I'm film. open. I'm open for you to try to convince me oh, otherwise. At least one of them I'm is. I'm open. I might yeah. sway back and forth, but still. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. Wow. I, I have my opinion I have both your yeah. guys. <laughs> so, I haven't decided yet. So it went from being everyone against me to, to, to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I haven't said anything yet. <laughs> and you are You're so convincing. Exactly. <laughs> All I had to say was good or bad. Go yeah, be a lawyer. You know what? He's right. It is a film. All right, we'll just. I guess we'll start off by having everyone state their position, right? True. So, since you guys are the majority, you will go first. Andres. Um. <laughs> it hurts. Um, it hurts. I I saw it yesterday. I I rewatched it, and I was a little bored at times. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't care for most of it. I think it's uh, I do not think it's as bad as some people say it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's bad. It, mm-hmm. It's not a yeah. good film. Okay. We'll get into this. <laughs> it, had, it had its moments, um, mostly bad ones. But uh, yeah, no, it, it. I don't know. It was. It was fun at the time, like when when it first came out. Sort of like you can go back watch the whole series from one to three, and they're all fun movies until emo Peter <laughs> decided to come around. I have a written defense of that. <laughs> we'll get to right. That is still my favorite part of the movie, actually. Uh, Kenneth. Um, yeah, I just watched it this morning, and <laughs> super uh, fresh. Oh man, it's it's still it still hurts. It still stings. <laughs> I know you're a big Spider-Man fan. Right? We talked we had Spider-Man fan. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so you, I'm curious why you're not the one on my side here. It it's. It didn't do it justice. It didn't. Like, I there. don't get me wrong. There are points where I was like, okay, yeah, no, that's exactly how he would act, or that's exactly how she would act. But I feel like we're going to be on the same side of certain things. Yeah, yeah like, okay. we'll, we'll see eye to eye on certain things. Don't get me wrong. It's just I did not enjoy that film. And I remember the first time I had actually seen it in the theaters, um, after we had left the theaters, my parents were just asking a bunch of questions. And in my head, I was like, holy shit, I have to defend this film. <laughs> like, but why? Why am I doing that? I'm like, no, no, no. It, yeah, probably. It's like, man, this is terrible. We're never taking you out to the movies. No, no, it's a great movie, Mom. I promise. Um, <laughs> but no, thinking back on it, I was like, yeah, yeah, that's that's some funky stuff that just happened in that film right there. See, I remember seeing it in a theater, and I was, I guess, I was on the other idea. Like, I think I've mentioned it before about like uh, the the fourth Batman film. I always forget which one it is. Batman Forever. The worst Robin? one of them all. Batman and Robin. Batman and Robin. Oh, Batman and Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Forever was good. Yeah, so. So, was good. <laughs> uh, and I remember seeing it in the theater, and then I grew up watching it over and over again, and I was just like, this is good. And then I hit like 15, 16, and I was just like, no, this is not good. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Make it stop. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you know about so Superman? Wild. This doesn't make sense. Stop. <laughs> yeah, let's reference Superman and never have him in there. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> to be fair, most movies do that now. Yeah, anyway. like it's like, hey, the guy in Gotham, blah, that, blah, blah. that fella right there, he could have felt that. <laughs> Why didn't he? I don't know, taxes. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, I guess I'll go up. Um, I have an uphill battle here, <laughs> and, I, and I admit that there's badness in this movie, but, and I guess this kind of just rolls into my first question, so I'll just go out and state it. I feel like I want everyone to sort of define what you mean when you say it's a bad movie. Like, what makes the difference between a good movie and a bad movie? Mm. All right, so Andres, what is a bad movie to you? Something that's a little harder to watch. Not, yes. not, not because uh, of, that's not, already kind of, not, not because 2001 of like, is a hard movie to watch not, not because of like the subject matter or because it's like a tougher thing but it's just like it's just boring it's hard to get through so, thing. yeah mm. I, well, so, 2001 that, one of those movies that you like bring up we bring up I, 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 well it's my fucking favorite movie of all time <laughs> but, Fair. But, but that movie's also a slow burn, so if anything, people yeah. can also say that in... Turn. I know a lot of people, like, my parents fucking despise that movie. They rented <laughs> it one day, like, cool, science fiction, like, the kids will love it. And then they're like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Which isn't as bad as the time they ran into Felix the Cat thinking it was, like, a just... Not Felix the Cat, sorry, but I was looking at your oh. shirt. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great shirt. Is it? No, is it Felix? That's Felix. That's Felix. Yeah. Oh, fuck, what's the cat? Fritz the cat. There you go. Fritz the cat, which is like a porn, like, it, it's by Ralph Bakshi. Is it Ralph Bakshi? Who does, like, these really raunchy adult cartoons. That's creepy. With, like, really, but they're, like, they have, like, serious stuff telling all these times about, like, urban life and all that. Okay. But they just thought it was a happy-ass cartoon, so they put it for my kids, uh, for their kids, and they're like, holy shit, they're fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, no. Yeah. So, I don't know if the hard to watch is really... A moniker that you could put for a bad movie. Maybe you want to clarify a bit. I know you said boring, but does a boring movie does boring but bad movie make? I guess. Uh, sometimes because like Kenneth mentioned, like uh, Con Space Odyssey, like a slow burn, and I I think there's a difference between slow burn films and boring films. Yeah, I think like, there's yeah, just it's it's intent. Even... In- intent is the <laughs> difference because slow burn the 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 artist, the director, whatever very much wants to slowly build to whatever he mm-hmm. knows what he's, he's in command of his tone but with boring it's more i guess things aren't working i don't know Spider- and so if that's what you mean with spider-man 3 that things don't necessarily work yeah i think a lot didn't work because there was too much story for one movie mm-hmm. that's another thing i wanted to because I, I read about that I, I think i know where you're gonna go mm-hmm. it was supposed to be two movies well that's the thing yeah there's definitely a lot going on for a two-hour movie and they were never going to make a four-hour version of this. Yeah. No, no. And there was supposed so, to be a fourth one. Yeah. They, they had, but they from, pulled it. From what I had heard, they, A, had never intended to have Venom in it, so they had to, like, switch a bunch yeah, of the Sam, I know Sam Raimi hated Venom. Yeah. Because he yeah. yeah. he's a stupid fucking character. Yeah. yeah. I do enjoy the character, but, like, it's it's got he's got to be written well. And a lot of times he's just not written well at all. Because he's just a one-note, like... I hate like Spider-Man. I hate Spider-Man. Yeah. yeah, but then they gave him his own spin-off series, like I'll protect the innocent, but fuck that guy. Yeah, um, yeah, no, because the original plan was to have Sandman, Vulture, and like I think undertones of like the Green Goblin or Harry as the Green Goblin. Ultimately, building to him. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. Um, which I thought was would have been awesome. Like they even had like Ben Kingsley in mind for the role for the Vulture. So Perfect. it was like, awesome. Would have been amazing. Um. But better than who was supposed to be in the Amazing Spider-Man franchise. John right? Let's not talk about that series. John, <laughs> John Malkovich. John Malkovich was no. Like, um, Malkovich was the one who was in talks for Vulture. If there was a fourth, thing. right? Yeah. No, but like there Malkovich was. Malkovich could be a good chameleon. I could see it. Yeah. But no, but there was a, there was an actor in the like in Amazing Spider-Man two that was supposed to take up the Vulture role. Oh. In future films. Huh. I, like he's in the movie. And he's. I, I forget who he, who plays him and who who he actually is in the film, but uh, he he's in it. And he has, he has like a sub, kind of a substantial part. Oh, isn't he the isn't he that bald guy? Fucking uh, yeah, yeah, great great job. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's bald. Let's get him. <laughs> <laughs> you're bald. You're automatic in contention for the vulture. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't get him. Let's get a little back on track, but that was yeah, good. Right, yeah. It's good that we had history. Uh, Mackenzie, what is your definition of a bad movie? Definition of a bad movie. Uh, well, I guess it's all about perspective. Like, I didn't enjoy 
several things in the movie, but mm-hmm. I can't say that it's a bad movie because I didn't enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd say it's bad because they had they tried to shoehorn too much stuff in without really having a backup plan or without maybe doing like a, an extended or a director's cut or something or just mm-hmm. something that would have made it less awkward and smashed together. Mm-hmm. And I just feel like there was too much for one movie. Because I think I could have enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. I could okay. have enjoyed it more if it was yeah, it, not uh, the way it was. <laughs> I, like Mackenzie had said, um, again, it's not necessarily a bad movie in terms of just like... Because I personally didn't enjoy it. And I feel like it lacked cohesion. It wasn't yeah. a very cohesive story for me. Um, I would contend that, but mm-hmm. like, go on. Like, they had a general undertone or a general plot, which I saw. But there was also a bunch of stuff that they wanted to do that I could tell I yeah. feel like they could do. But they just didn't do it. You know what I mean? Like, um... Sandman storyline specifically. Sandman, yeah, I like. Truth be told, he, I did like the Sandman storyline. They just he just disappears. That's the problem. Yeah, he just. Yeah. Dis- but the thing is, I like Thomas that's, Church. <laughs> that's what happened with a lot of them. I feel like if anything, they could have just kept all of the people in that movie alive, but they killed, well, quote unquote, killed all the characters. Like mm-hmm. Venom gets blown up by a grenade, yeah. which mm-hmm. I already have problems with. <laughs> There's um, fire in there. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> um, yeah. Friggin' Harry gets stabbed through the chest. I'm like, yeah. okay, I, I get it, mm-hmm. but did he have to get stabbed through the chest? I mean... Well, it's it's a nice little like, echo of the first one. True. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. Yeah. And it's that foreshadowing yeah. that they put in earlier. Oh, man, that... Oh, oh yeah, because that wasn't heavy-handed I at never, all. I didn't oh. notice it until this, like, view, but, like, when he's just, like, when his like, friends leave and he's just, like, like I'd lose my life for them. I'd give my life yeah, for yeah. my friends. Like, as, like, as he's about to pass out, I was like, like ha-ha. 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 <laughs> oh, man. You think you're clever, right? Flashbacks and Amazing Spider-Man 2. So this is where I feel... Because there's a common thread here, right? And I feel the difference, the way I would say it, because good and bad is very subjective, and that's not where we're trying to... Yeah. What we're really trying to say here is, did the movie work? Does the movie work at all, right? Mm. And I would say it works in spite of all the pro- uh, things that you guys are saying, because it all, like we're all saying, it all boils down to script issues. There's mm-hmm. too much story here. True. And I would say, yeah, the mechanizations are a little more apparent, like you can feel the story beats mm-hmm. happening as opposed to them just kind of bringing you along and you come into an understanding of it. Yeah. You can hear the gears grinding essentially. But ultimately those they're moving, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like uh, I know I said I didn't want to talk about this movie too much because we're talking Spider-Man 3, but Amazing Spider-Man 2, I just want to say <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> oh, boy. And there is a story that doesn't work, right? No. No, on the no. surface, you could like it's all these textures. They work like Emma Stone and Andrew Garfield. Yeah, they have a nice chemistry, and uh, you can feel these ideas are quote unquote cool or whatever. But if you look at it as a story, it's just a uh, fucking scene next to scene. There's no actual interconnection between them. There's no you, like, sense if, of propulsion. Like, you can tell that yeah. there is just like oh, let's keep this untold yeah. story super untold. Let's yeah. cut out. More. Like he wants his blood, he's not gonna give it to him, and then that's kind of it, right? That's and then it. he's like, "Oh, but yeah, we have venom anyway, so it it's doesn't really." There's no yeah. drama, you know what I mean? So what I feel, Raimi is too good of a filmmaker to not inherently put that drama in his film, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, things start falling by the wayside because, as you said, this was supposed to be more than one two-hour movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But ultimately, it's he's still mm-hmm. there's still a very much a logical progression to it. You just more labored, and I can, and I will agree. Yeah, it's to the film's detriment, but it's not a bad movie because there's still a story being told that makes sense, and there's actual thematics underneath. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thematically, so, sure. Yeah, I do have issues with characters, though. Yes, which is <laughs> like okay. Wait, let's get, let's, 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 there's a lot of characters. So let's, yeah. let's, let's <laughs> there's a lot this. of things going on. Mm-hmm. That's I guess the most important one, Peter. Okay. And Peter goes through a oh, lot God. of changes in this movie. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. So 
Um, Where's eyeliner at one point? <laughs> that was my favorite part. That yeah. was actually Don't my favorite there. part of the movie. Um, like the worst this thing is, ever. All right, we'll have, <laughs> but I, it was I didn't best. expect to talk about this, but I, th- I mean, like so soon. But we're gonna get into emo Peter, I think. So. Oh, well, not not quite. Not, not yeah. quite. I mean, oh, well, we definitely are getting into yeah, emo Peter. We'll get to him. Um, <laughs> you you can't avoid that. He, no, he's no I'm not, I don't want him. I have a defense. No. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. No, let's he's, go. he's gonna sit in the corner and wait. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting there flipping his hair. <laughs> <laughs> for um, truthfully, for Peter, I was watching. Yeah, again, I was watching it this morning, and characterization-wise, there were still key points of Peter Parker. Where I was like, okay, this is who Peter is. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. and again, I don't want to. I hate doing comparisons, but compared to the Andrew Garfield Peter, Andrew yeah, Garfield Peter, too, I found was cool. too too cool, too yeah. aggressive for yeah. like a lot of things, which also will. He's too. Dude. He's has. He's too much in control of every situation. Yeah. yeah. He's Peter he, Parker is very much a character who like he's, he's little bumbling snippy, through. But he bumbling. Yeah. yeah. He like he gets lucky here yeah. and there, but he's always. But just no, there's Peter Parker luck that. means he's yeah. like bad timing. Yeah. He's never always. nothing works for him. Like and the film establishes that really early on in a great way. Like a subtle small thing. Yeah. He's going to see the show and he's stuck between these two massive guys, right? At yeah. His, at his girlfriend's own show. Yeah. It's, it's so a small moments like that that Raimi understands yeah. his character. Yes. And then. And then it just kind of sort of spiraled for me. It was just like, okay, yeah, good, good, Peter, you're doing good, you're doing good, Peter, 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 what you doing, man? <laughs> What's going on here? Um, like, there were things that just kept happening to him. Like, he was down on his luck for most of this movie, and I was like, okay, mm-hmm. yeah, no, this is exactly how Peter Parker's life should be. Yeah, like, there's. It's funny though, because that. Progression you mentioned though, what are you doing, Peter? Is ex- I feel is exactly the intent, mm. right? Yeah. And if a movie is succeeding in that in what it wants True. to do, how is it not working essentially? Because that is more so just like, I guess honestly, it could also boil down to how the actor portrayed the the character. You know what I mean? Like I liked Tobey Maguire's portrayal of Peter Parker far better than Andrew Garfield's. Oh, because Tobey Maguire is Peter Parker. It is. Yes. <laughs> um, but my where my issue lies was sometimes he felt sort of out of place as Peter Parker. Like there were times where he would just cry, just mm-hmm. a lot, just a and I'm lot. just like, like his, it's, his eyes are perpetually wet. Just, yeah. just like yeah. I'm just like, wait, this is a happy moment, Peter. What's going on? I'm just so his eyes Which moment were specifically? Just um, the one that I'm thinking of right now, yeah. not the happy moment. This was not a happy moment at all. The one I'm thinking of specifically was when. Um, was when he was, I think it was at the hospital, and he was just like, just standing, waiting for, um, waiting for the doctors to be done. He was just like standing there, just staring off in the distance. His eyes were just like, just mm-hmm. shivering with tears. <laughs> I was like, okay, all right, but, okay. Like I get it. His best friend's in the hospital, yeah. but also, his best friend just a tried to kill him. That seems weird. For it, me. Was, it was. It yeah, was. There weird. was a I lot mean, of. There was a lot going on in that scene for me. Because there, like, even after that, once like, um, once Harry gets better, and he's, and he like forgets all the stuff that happened to him, and then he he leaves with MJ, and MJ's like, oh well, things are good with you, and then Peter has a smirk on his face, like, oh yes, it's worth it. This is all good. Like I, <laughs> what the amnesia thing? Yeah, like he he, well, it's like he hurt him, made him lose his memory, and he's just like. Okay, cool. Maybe this will work out for the best. Now we're best friends again. This well, is all great. That's, I feel like that's a key theme of the movie. Like, yeah, things are finally working for Peter in a sense, but in the wrong way. He mm-hmm. hurt right? his friend. But exactly, that's like, he hurt his friend, and now he's happy because it's his friend lost his memory. He has a severe injury. <laughs> yeah. He's a dick. That's it. Peter's a dick. He should be on his side there. Throughout most of this movie, no, yeah, Peter's a dick. Don't want to be. He was a because dick before totally the symbiote. Because yeah. later on, <laughs> it's, made yeah. more, he was a dick. it's made more apparent. It, yeah, yeah. It made, it's made more apparent in the whole black suit thing. Yes, yeah. now he has more power. But what's the famous Uncle Ben cool? With more power comes with great responsibility. With great power comes great responsibility, right? Well done. Don't fuck up. I'm about to slap you. I don't know. You're correct. Fuck. But yeah, it's just made more literal in the sense that he has more power and he can easily, de- he fucking destroys Sandman in that fight. But the point is, that's oh, yeah. not what a hero does. Mm-hmm. It's being a hero is fighting with one arm behind your back, yeah. which is Man of Steel got very wrong. <laughs> <laughs> just, just levels a whole city. But anyway, 
so we'll get this to Man of Steel, maybe. <laughs> Peter being on board with the whole, oh, my friend has a severe concussion thing. <laughs> this ain't so bad. Yeah. yeah, is very much in tune with what the film is doing, where things are working for Peter, but are they really? Yeah. Is this good for Peter in the long run? And the film very much says no. No, it's not. No! no. <laughs> no. Ah. That came out really weird. <laughs> That's how that I felt watching the, the movie. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Any other thoughts on Peter? Um, no, those are solid points. I like that. Mm. Uh, uh, Mackenzie kind of like brought up like how... I'm going to tally uh, Jeffrey Moore. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know some people who, like, I've, that I've talked to, they're just like, oh, yeah, he becomes... Uh, he's a dick after, like, the whole symbiote no, it comes out. And it's like... it's No, it's in the very beginning. Yeah. Yeah. He's not listening. He's being selfish. Mm-hmm. Who was it? Like, Icarus that flew way too close to yeah. the sun? Yeah. yeah. That get yeah. that right, yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Like> mythology. <laughs> the original superhero. Okay, let's not get into that. <laughs> um, Andres, you have your problems with Peter in this movie. Um, I didn't. I think this was like. I didn't think Toby was acting that well in this one. I didn't really care for what he was doing with the character. Mm-hmm. He just. Um, I don't really care he for just most annoyed me. I think I mentioned this in the last one too, so don't fucking jump on me again. <laughs> <laughs> but I never want to cast aspersions on an actor because you just mm. don't know what's going on. And then we know this movie was what two years, a- yeah, yeah. Two, two years after number two. Um, Three. I, think, I believe four was yeah, number it was two. two. Okay, so it's probably wrapped up in two. So anyway, there's not that much time between the two movies. They're clearly rushed because they yeah. wanted two. They wanted two movies that are, uh, f- all fit into one, right? So mm-hmm. you just don't know the kind of schedule, and they had like, okay, let's just shoot this quick, blah blah blah. So to say Toby Maguire isn't very good in this is just, it's kind of beside unfair. the point. Slightly. It's unfair and it's beside the point. Like yeah, I, I, to say, I get it because there's bad performances in fucking masterpiece films, right? So I, I wrote here like it's not a, a reason I would say on my this notes that <laughs> there's like some CGI and green screen stuff that is doesn't. Yeah. Okay. That's, good, but, okay. That's but, another, but but that's the thing. Like it's a, that same argument where I'm just like, yeah, but it's it's 2007. Yeah. it's 2007. I'm not, I'm not gonna yeah. I'm not gonna hold it against it because yeah. there were some parts that I was just like, really, and I was just like, oh right, it's eight years old. <laughs> yeah. Least, Oops. Um, yeah. Whatever. That's uh, that's another. For the thing. time, it wasn't awful. No. Yeah. It probably. And going back and bad. watching it now, you're like, oh. Yeah, it's been <laughs> on Blu-ray, and I was watching it on my computer, so I was really oh yeah, I, I, yeah. yeah. So I'm like, ooh, I, James Franco is not there. I was. I picked up the the like new 4K <laughs> restoration. Yeah. With with those scenes, it was like super evident. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, again, that's. that's I don't, nice if we're gonna start talking effects, that's a whole other rabbit hole. Yeah, that's yeah. that's not what we're doing here, right? Uh, Mackenzie, you've been alluding to this now. Do you want to bring it up? Game you know, old Peter. Yeah. But my favorite part of this whole movie. <laughs> yeah. My favorite part of everything ever. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That. To me, the, the whole movie was sloppy in a lot of ways. Like, it, it does, like, you're right, it does tell the story. It has, like, Sam Raimi-ness all yeah. over it. But um, that, to me, just horning in, like, emo Peter, it was just all the more random. But then, at that point, I was like, I don't even care anymore. This is just, like, I'm here, <laughs> I'm laughing, like, fuck this. This is hilarious. And I just, like, I, I enjoyed that part just because it was so silly and it was goofy yeah. it was so goofy and just like okay this is you've never done this in any of these movies before but okay fine why not just enjoy the ride <laughs> i guess i'll get into my defense of that scene now <laughs> i've been wanting to hear Let's this enjoy for his a long hip thrusts time. Yeah, okay. and his eyeliner and hair so I, i'm breaking this up there's two scenes that i'm kind of separating yeah. so i'm because there's the emo peter montage mm-hmm. right where he's walking down the street blah 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 and then there's the jazz club Oh, I love okay. jazz club. So right now, I'm going to defend the jazz club as well. But right now, let's that talk. That scene is horrible. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, he oh, oh, very wait, Jane like shit, too. Which okay, is okay, okay, yeah, okay. Like Keep that in mind. Yeah, yeah, no, no, okay. No, no. Uh, we'll come back to the jazz club. Right now, I want to talk about emo Peter montage. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Things are going to get heated now. Did you look at the faces of everyone else on the street? Yes. Yeah. 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 They are disgusted. Yeah. They are laughing at him. Yeah. This is the exact response the audience is having. Yeah. Yet a lot of people feel that response and think, okay, this just isn't working. But instead, the film is working precisely as it's meant to. You're supposed to think, this is not like, Peter, this, this is wrong, this is, yeah. yeah, this is ridiculous. You're not as cool as you think you are, buddy. 
Like, what's with the haircut, right? What's with the eyeliner? Yeah. <laughs> you explain yourself. <laughs> Where did he get the eyeliner? Like, legitimately. Like, Shoppers. After the fucking, after the freaking, um, like, uh, Sandman fight, like, he just quaffs his hair down and then just, boom, eyeliner. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> the symbiote works for you? <laughs> like, I have long hair, that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, ooh, going way off track. <laughs> Point happen, is, yeah. okay, it'll happen. And I court it. Uh, yeah, so... We're talking now, it, good or bad, it, that's the subjective thing. And yeah, maybe it doesn't work for you. In the, or I don't want to say work because that's where I'm going with this. But maybe you don't think, you think it's bad, but that's just a surface level reading mm-hmm. when really it's working again. It, the film is doing precisely as it's intending to do. And so to say that the film is bad because it's working is dissonant. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say that it's a bad movie. Mm-hmm. Even oh, coming oh, into this. No, no, no. Even coming into this, I okay. was saying, like, I was like, I wouldn't say it's a bad movie. It's not a good movie, but it's not. Two points for Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not. Actually, tell you. It's a bad. It's. Oh, it's, not it's got this. bad, bad moments. It has good moments. It has good underlying. And like again with Sam Raimi, like it, he knows the character. He knows it. Um, okay, now I'm curious. Then what is the bad, bad moment? It's just so many like awkward. It just makes you feel bad on the inside. A lot of the movie it just <laughs> felt awful. Like just it just didn't feel right. So part so many parts of it just sat awkwardly. I, 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 I want to roll back actually to emo Peter. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Um, um, so emo Peter, one of my big issues with that was. During the time that Peter was infected with the symbiote, like during the comics or during like any other of the media, he didn't necessarily become, I guess, douchey. No, no, he did become like douchey, but mm-hmm. he was aggressive. Like he yeah. was aggressive. He was yeah. angry. He was very much just. He became think Flash Thompson. Like mm-hmm. he became the bully that no one wanted to be around, sort of thing. Yeah, and like. <clears throat> With that, it gained like it was a slow burn. It gained added added confidence. Like he was he was much more confident in himself. Like he went on more dates. He was just like his ego was like much bigger. But it didn't heighten anything else really. Like mm-hmm. I feel like with the emo Peter, they amplified too much of the nerdy side or the nerdy aspect. Like in the, I feel like I like the jazz scene a bit because it showed his aggression more than his yeah. nerdy side. Like again super nerdy I mm-hmm. still was like what the fuck man he's a, he's a jazz club I like jazz <laughs> and I admit going to a jazz, jazz club is being surrounded by death <laughs> yeah. near death yeah. <laughs> it was just like it, I don't know I didn't like necessarily the treatment of the way that they had um, this is infected Peter sort of thing I feel like this is a complete again because when we're talking about whether the movie works or not now we're starting to venture into is the movie a faithful adaptation of the comics and what i think is going on here is that yes maybe you're you're right in the sense that the, in the comics it didn't happen this way but Raimi yeah. <laughs> i'm not writing that <laughs> in the movie Raimi is making it work for his story mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so here he's it's heightening whatever he's feeling at the time so yes he's feeling confident but again, he's understating the point, this doesn't work, this yeah. is not right. He's feeling confident, but for the wrong reasons. Mm-hmm. It's still rooted in selfishness. So, I guess, what I'm trying to say is that you're, I don't know if you're really critiquing that moment so much as maybe just underscoring? It was more of a critique, yeah. Like, I, like it's just, it really... So you felt it wasn't as faithful to the symbiote in the comics? It wasn't very faithful. Yeah, it really wasn't very faithful to the symbiote in the comics. It wasn't. It just felt unfaithful. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm a fan of, like, if it works, I like when they kind of delve away from the comics. Because some. Let's be honest, comics are fucking weird. Yeah. Like, there's. And there's a lot of context yeah. for what happened. Yeah. Here you have two hours to establish something, mm-hmm. less even, and you gotta make it work. And so here. They established the symbiote comes from space. Mm-hmm. Uh, Doctor Connors, who I just watched Happiness by the way, and he plays a pedophile in that, so I could not stop thinking that. <laughs> it's like, oh shit, yeah, yeah that's you should not layer. be hanging out with your students, Mister Connors. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing there after Doctor <laughs> yeah, Connors? Exactly. Peter yes. <laughs> shows aggression. See, <laughs> oh. <It> heightens the. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so it is, explains that it just heightens the properties of its host, right? Mm. So this is the symbiote of the film, and we can only yeah. accept it as mm. what it is in the film. Fair. Right? So it's still frustrating as hell. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I, I, it's, it, it still bugs me, though. Like I can't... But then it bugs you, and I get why yeah. maybe you can't maybe come to terms with the film mm -hmm. or come on equal grounds with the movie on that regard, and that's fine. But what I feel like what we're arguing here is does the movie work? And I would say that scene works mm. for it, what it's intending to do. Now, are we talking like like we're just completely cutting out the general audience as well? Like, is that what we're kind of as a barometer here? of taste? I mean, as of quality? Yeah. Because if we're gonna talk, I have things to say about that too. <laughs> I knew we'd have notes, man. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 you you come prepared yeah. when you walk up a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I 2007. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> a post Christopher Nolan Batman world sensibilities were changing the year after we're gonna get the Dark Knight and right, what are we seeing right. now a tendency towards grim and grit right yeah. people don't want their superheroes to be silly anymore they can't come from the pages of fucking 60s Jack yeah. Kirby Stan Lee True. the minds you can't be weird like Marvel's sort of starting to move away from that like that's and they're they're succeeding now right because we've been very much so I understand a lot of that is a post... Okay, now we're getting really serious. It's a fucking post-9-11 world where, like, Dark Knight is very much questioning what can we allow our heroes, the government, to do True. to stop, like, these... Uh, this hate, this terrorist action against us, right? Mm -hmm. So it's fine. And it works for those movies. But Spider-Man, in its own thing, it has its own tone. It has its own context. Mm -hmm. And I feel it just didn't jive with audiences at the time. So, yes... Couple that with the very clunky mechanizations of the script, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is people are just gonna react violently towards that. Not violently, mm -hmm. but you know they're gonna have strong reactions. You know, people never the yeah, you think of your average audience are not the ones to be like, uh, this is a seven point five because blah 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 blah. They're just gonna be like, oh it sucked or oh it was great. No, yeah, I don't <laughs> think I've ever actually heard a general honesty like. You know what? This was a bad movie. Let us but discuss. I'll tell you why. <laughs> yeah. I know everybody's just like, "Oh, it sucked." Okay, yeah, whatever. exactly. And so, really, all IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes, all that really is, is just a barometer of the How general taste the at the taste, moment, yeah. right? I can point to a number of movies that don't like have horrible scores, but we, I think, we'd all agree are really good. I, I, we were talking. Like, fuck! I don't want to bring it up again. <laughs> Speed Racer. <laughs> 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 Fuck! I watch more movies than this. <laughs> I promise. <you. laughs> it has a horrible for... rating, but Every... I think all of us who've seen it here—I don't know if it's just me and Kenneth. I haven't seen it. No. Oh, okay. You haven't seen I it. I saw it theater. I gave it a miss. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I liked parts of it. I liked what it, okay. I, I, you guys I, then, I loved what it did. I'm sure someone can name a movie that is generally dis, uh, disregarded, but we all can all agree. Is Fairly good movie. Fuck Iron the first Man Magic Mike. Like How many Iron men Man dismissed too. that because of those male strippers? Yeah, it's no, that was a good one. Yeah, it's a great movie, good. but great. people dismiss things for the surface. Yeah. yeah. And what I'm saying here is Spider Man 3 is being unfairly dismissed. You don't, I'm not saying you, it's just a must watch or it's a perfect movie. I'm saying it works and it's good for what it's trying to do. Mm -hmm. It stumbles. At times. I think I just, I liked the first two so much. Yeah. Spider Man 2 is one of the greatest movies of all time. broke me a little bit. Because it's yeah. Am I alone on the. That was the problem for me. I will agree. It's also a very disappointing capper to the trailer. Yes. Because the second movie is the best superhero movie to this day. I don't think that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? The second movie is the greatest superhero movie? I don't time? think Spider Man 2 is as revolutionary as everybody else says it is. Why? What's Why? Yeah, what's <laughs> I don't know. I need to. Okay, you're on my side on this I, one at no, least. Yeah, yeah, no. Okay, Who two on one. Mackenzie? Who hurt you? Oh, no, I Mini debate, go. I just don't. I don't know. I just never saw like what how great it was. I just didn't think it was as great as everybody else thinks it is. I really like it. I just mm. don't think it's incredible and amazing and up there with like top tier uh, comic book movies. Like, yeah. huh? Like, what are your top tier? Like, uh, I need to know. I need to Iron get Man, a Dark Knight, Avengers. Mm. I like Spider Man 2 yeah. much more than Avengers. Avengers. You whoa! Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. No, say. yeah, Avengers yeah. is <clears throat> good. It's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> and it's great for 
What the context is? of it, like it's fucking years of build up. They know how to work. cram yeah. stuff into a story and make it work. <laughs> first, except the first half hour, which is fucking atrocious. Yeah. Let's, oh, let's yeah. agree there that the yeah. movie oh. only gets good like half an what hour. What happens in the first half hour? Exactly. I'll let that go. Robin, steal... Robin Trubotsky kicks some ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the girl from How I Met Your Mother <laughs> is defending a blue cube. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and does so unsuccessfully. Mystical All right. I like Loki's entrance. Go on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, basically, I feel like very few of the Marvel movies, I wouldn't even say Iron Man. I think Iron Man just, it's a great, great movie, but a lot of the, Iron Man the just opinion what, around it is because it is the beginning. Yeah, Iron Man came to mind because of that, but also, like, if, yeah. like thinking about a bit more, I'd rather put Guardians up there yes. or, yeah, or Guardians. Winter Soldier. Guardians, Guardians, Winter Soldier, yes, those are movies. Winter yeah, Winter Soldier. Guardians of the Galaxy, I wouldn't say it's like saying much, but I mean, it's just a perfect blockbuster. It's yeah. perfectly it is, constructed, yes. perfect. great action, great comedy, and it, character you, moments you are amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Best Winter Soldier is actually, had, is actually yeah. alluding to some actual things. Again, post 9 11 world, great stuff. Yeah. Uh, really good storytelling, I found too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the Russo brothers, they're, yeah. they're fucking amazing. Um, and but I would, it. other than those <laughs> two, even those, like, they're really, really, really good. But Spider Man Two is genuinely great. Like I like that movie. Especially for I the haven't time seen like era. haven't seen that one as recently as Spider Man Three, so I can't go as into detail as I've clearly gone here. But that movie understands heroism on a level that all their movies mm-hmm. they haven't really done, except maybe the first Captain America. Yeah. Although oh, yeah. they kind of put the fucking end stinger before the credits, which should have gone after, because the ending of that movie is him sacrificing his life. Yeah. Because that is a hero sacrifice. As he does in this movie, Spider Man Three, mm-hmm. um, and in Spider Man Two is the ultimate sacrifice. He's essentially is reborn after the whole yeah. train sequence. Yeah. That, oh, such a good that sequence. was I mean, so the train good. sequence is incredible. But like, yeah, I'm not saying Spider Man Two is a bad movie. I'm just, I do think it's amazing. I just don't think it's up there. And then again, I haven't seen it. Like the last time I remember seeing it has been at least like two years ago, mm-hmm. and that must have been on TV. Where it was intercut with like a million fucking commercials, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. so it definitely like uh, kills some of the momentum. Yeah. I remember being viciously angry when they put a commercial in between the train sequence because no. it builds, oh, it, fuck. it gets yeah. rid of all the tension. Yeah. But That's so terrible. I wish they'd at least put the commercials where in spots where they make sense, mm-hmm. like yeah. scene breaks, just like right mid sentence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People walking out the door, just like I'll see you in a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So watch Spider Man Two. Until then, you're not allowed to talk anymore. <laughs> you're that out was, of this debate. That was me. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> you just vetoed yourself. Out of yeah, exactly. <laughs> Even Ken is on my side with this one. Oh man. Okay, let's. I've been putting this off long enough, but I want to. Let's talk the jazz scene. Oh god. Yeah. I think uh, Kenneth seems to be sort of on my side with this one. He jazz knows where scene, I'm going. Yeah, with jazz scene's very. It gets things done right yeah. and gets things done wrong. <laughs> choreography was quite nice. Yeah. I will, it's just, it bugged it's me. Silly, that, it's jazz. He's, yeah. doing, he's very much doing a very heightened, uh, this is Again. Sam Raimi, it's yeah. heightened cinema, right? Yeah. He's, yeah. And he's very much doing the whole hard bop uh, tone, right? The, like, the roaring 20s. He, mm-hmm. That's what he's doing. Mm-hmm. He's, it's almost pastiche. Mm-hmm. It yes. was, Emo Peter, yeah. I maintain, best yeah. part of the movie. Because <laughs> it works. Because it's awesome. Like, the dance, it's the dance itself it's sometimes I found was weird, yeah. but the whole attitude towards everything that happened yeah. in the scene was actually Because we are really, not on his really side well in that scene. At all. I'm just like, ah, oh, dude, mm-hmm. what yeah. the fuck? Yeah. I think that's why it was uncomfortable, because it's yeah. making me dislike a character I like so much. And you're so, exactly, yeah. and you're supposed, that's the yeah. thing. But Again, you're the supposed movie, to, exactly. The movie is working, it's on a level... That you need to sort of read past the surface. On the surface, you're like, "What the fuck is going on? <laughs> like, why is he?" I think where it dropped the ball was where uh, I had always liked Peter Parker. I always liked Spider Man, and then I started disliking him in this movie, and I never really recovered from it. Mm-hmm. I never started rooting for him again, really. But I will say, much. yeah, okay. That was here the is where I okay. agree with you in that the film maybe doesn't do enough to build back that. Hero. Yeah, yeah. Have him be redeemed essentially, yeah. right? Yeah. Although I will say I love the fact that it takes place, even this is from the comics because mm-hmm. yeah, in where the bell tower. yeah the bell tower yeah. because like a church yeah very yeah. much Peter Parker is very much a character about guilt yes. right always yeah and I was raised Catholic so I can tell you a thing or two <laughs> yeah, about Catholic bells. guilt right <laughs> so it's so appropriate and I love that Venom is a consequence of his actions yeah. right it's only it's very Venom that's what Sam Raimi is so smart he knows how to use that character properly where. 
he can't just get rid of the symbiote and everything be fine. Everything There's a consequence to it. Yeah. He created Venom, and Venom is all that hatred, all that, all that uh, aggression, power without rage. responsibility, yeah. coming right back at him, and he has to fight it to because fuck that's what you do in a superhero movie you fight all your problems away he has to fight it in order to overcome it and yeah the movie maybe doesn't do enough to redeem peter in the end and that's where i agree mm. but again that's an i truly told enough. i actually i'm actually gonna say it doesn't redeem him but it shows him doing the right Better. he's yeah. on he's the right on the path, path. Right? he yeah. is on the right path and but then, then they cut it all off <laughs> yeah. they're like done no I, more spider-man actually you know what i'm gonna stop right here i have a huge issue with the fact that they did not do a final swing in the third movie like oh, so in every like why at the end is that of every really Spider-Man, an issue I don't know I just love ending Spider-Man movies with him. I just want to go through the city I'm just yeah. like oh yeah that's Spider-Man going but to his, do Spider-Man but his shit. friend's dead why is he celebrating I, no he's not celebrating he doesn't have to celebrate he's got a job he's to do he's away he's like Gwen Stacy dies in Amazing Spider-Man 2 and it goes right into hey, we're not talking about Amazing Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2 yeah. Yeah. things rock I'm single <laughs> yeah, <right? laughs> Mary Jane where you at girl oh man seeing you around the hood it, it just like for like a cap of a trilogy sort of thing I was like this is yeah. kind of lackluster like I know that it's putting things together sort of thing I would have you know what I would have been happy with things being put together like intercut through him having a monologue like through Harry's um, uh, funeral thing like that speech he had then mm-hmm. like intercut him going to see MJ and that Harry's funeral him just trying to like fix the relationships that he's essentially broken through the film and then at the end of the, like, let's say, like, at the end of the fucking speech, he's just, mm-hmm. like, he jumps off the rooftop, goes swinging around, doing Spider-Man. You just want him to swing so bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Dude, badly. That was in the dangerous territories of playing armchair director. Fair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's fair. Yeah. It's just, and I feel, uh, and now we're, oh, fuck. I'm going to sound pompous every single goddamn episode. <laughs> <laughs> we're starting to get into, because the discussion of what is the intent of art, right? What is the purpose of art? Mm-hmm. And it's not to make you feel better, right? Not to yeah. make think you're make okay. You that's feel. that's propaganda. That's feel, that's advertising, feel, yeah. right? It's to make you think about yourself as a person, about how your wants and needs conflict with other people. Blah blah blah. I just want swings. That's what <laughs> I want. <laughs> Spider Man Three, despite being a superhero film, at least I can see the intent to end on us on a way of saying, yeah, you're not perfect. Things are hard. But like you said, you're on the right path. Yeah. And that yeah. what I feel encapsulates Peter ultimately is that things are being a hero is hard and you're never going to have exactly what you want, but you're doing good. You're mm. you're on the right path and life sucks. <laughs> yeah. But just try, isn't mm. it? Right? And so the movie may be mumbling that through fucking a full <laughs> mouth because it has so much going on. Yeah. But it's saying it and I guess maybe I put more value in that than I would in just feeling good because he's swinging. You know what I mean? Which, sure. isn't, no, which isn't shit on your point. It's just to say <laughs> yeah, no, that. It's, it's just it's a stupid it's, point. <laughs> it's not to show for it. It's just because it gets at a root problem. Not problem, that, but it's a root thing that I feel a lot of movie audiences do is that they bring their own expectations to a movie instead of letting a movie be itself. Yeah. You, know what I mean? you know what I did? I think... Also, what a big thing is, I expected a lot from this movie because I was like, oh, okay, this, like, the initial teaser trailer was like, oh, shit, this is going to be fucking Everyone saw Black Suit Spider-Man and went fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And what this movie does is show you Black Suit Spider-Man is not what you really want. Yeah, you don't want that. He's a dick. (laughs) Then he's going to kill somebody, break their neck. General Zod, <laughs> and you're not gonna fucking. I, I know I keep bringing up other movies, but it's the best way I feel it's, to illustrate it's my like, point, yeah. right? It's like you when you ask for these things, like a we want a grittier Superman living in the real world. You're fundamentally uh, destroying the what the character means, right? Superman is an ideal. He is the heroic ideal. Mm. He, it's not about Superman having an arc. It's about us coming to terms with who Superman is to us, right? Yeah, and. What Spider-Man does is that, essentially, but with Peter Parker, when his is more about guilt, is more about the price of doing good. Forgiveness, guilt, remorse. Yeah, exactly. Consequence of action. Responsibility. Power. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a list of nouns. <laughs> <laughs> That's the rest of the episode, just random words. Yeah. <laughs> Word Jenga. So, any... I, I don't know, I don't... 
know where to go from here because actually I'm not sure what happened. I mean, yeah. I, I feel like I feel like we all just came to a certain middle, it was which just is like, all I wanted to yeah, do. Like, no, no, exactly. that was my goal. I expected <laughs> that. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> three points for Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I like it's. Again, I'm not gonna be a guy who's gonna be like, "Oh man, yeah, you know what movie you should watch? Spider Man 3. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna recommend it. I'll say, "Oh, this is me. I'm the mm-hmm. one defending." Yeah. I'll be like, "Watch the fucking trilogy. Yeah, watch don't, all don't, of yeah, it. watch all of it, right? And at least after Spider Man 2, meet in the middle be, yeah. with Spider Man 3. <laughs> Just right? don't expect don't expect yeah. it to get better. <laughs> yeah, and then watch the Amazing Spider Man movie and see how wrong it can really yeah. go. Oh, right? Man. Can, I know this is a Spider Man 3. Promises podcast. were meant to be broken. Worst mm. line yeah. to end a oh, movie of all time. No. That's the worst thing to say to someone yeah, who's ever. Just died. Yeah, no. It's like, I know your father just died, but let's go. Out. Yeah. yeah. But you're hot. <laughs> oh man, oh, so many problems horrible. with that movie. Yeah. Oh. yeah. See, that's where I get. That's why I feel the need to bring up the uh, intent of art, because mm-hmm. Amazing Spider-Man is very much just indulging the audience's desires, right? Mm-hmm. We want to see him get with Gwen Stacy, so the movie's like, yeah, sure, why not? You're I want that Stacey. too. Yeah. But the whole point is that he can't but also, get yeah, it. Yeah. He, he never, he never, truth be told, he never really earned it in that movie. I was no, just like, yeah. the movie does, it's like, not smart enough to have no, Peter earn anything. No, it was just like, okay, man, Peter. Even Peter, his yeah. powers, which are supposed to be random, they're like, oh, no, no uh, you, you've you, had that since fucking birth. Yeah, it's just, essentially. you needed a spider bite to yeah. really just, just take it out. Yeah, yeah, You were, uh, you were predisposed to become Spider-Man, which is bullshit. Because yeah, no, the whole point is that he's just a random kid yeah. who gets these powers. Random kid, still just awful at everything. Yeah, except for trying science. to figure it yeah. out. Yeah, it, yeah. Uh, there's too many stories that try to do the inner destiny, like yeah. you have this in you all along, sort of thing. Like no, <laughs> that's <laughs> fire. Like that. hey, that's not life. <clears throat> oh, fuck. You know, I, I just. I hate that movie. Uh, <laughs> so we, uh, can we all at least bond over can our hatred for it? Oh, actually, no, wait. Yeah. This motherfucker doesn't think Spider Man 2 is the greatest movie of all time, but he likes Amazing Spider Man. Whoa! Yeah. New shit. So that's why you're not talking right now. He's <laughs> just like, oh god. Oh, man, no, I like the first one. It's hmm? so bad. It's not that bad. But, but how come? Like, why did you like the first one? Yeah, okay. Let me, I, I should. I, oh, shut up, I very naturally went into that. Uh, it sucks, yeah. Yeah, I, I became I became what I always pr- protest against, but let's hear you. Yeah, let's hear you. Became the thing defense. Let's hear you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm entitled to my hatreds too. <laughs> I think I just. I think it was fun. It's the chemistry between the two of them. Uh, I miss that scene. Yeah, that was. Okay. I don't remember much else. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, see, exactly. There it is. All that works is the chemistry. Oh, but then again, like, even this is then, a... the chemistry was yeah. shoddy. At yeah. Like, Especially that for the second movie, it does it better. Yeah, for but sure. the they're already is, dating. By that yeah, time exactly. in real life. But the thing is, like, th- this is also based on how. Oh, are like, they dating in real life too? Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Ba- it's like based on how, like, me saying I liked it back when I saw it. Mm-hmm. Like, th- this is whenever that movie came out. Like, I don't remember when. Like three years I, ago. Oh, uh, repressed that. Two thousand twelve. No. The Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. That yeah was that was so like I'm talking, like I'm so basing five this five years after three. Holy I'm, yeah. I'm basing They're this really after that license. Uh, <laughs> uh, anything. <laughs> what will do, do we do? <laughs> <laughs> get, get, Just get, grab a camera. <laughs> <laughs> get a director, Mark Webb. That's what he did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had such high hopes for him. We all did. I had yeah, we had yeah. hopes. That's sad. Mark Webb does what well what Mark Webb does well the chemistry and that's pretty much it. Not making a good. I remember. So, I saw it with you, and I'm pretty sure we both walked out saying we liked it. That was I then. I was like, eh. You said Let, you liked never it. Take I remember, I remember you saying to me after we after the first one had come out that it was <sighs> just, uh And well, I went to go see it anyway, and then I saw it, and I was like, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. huh, just, Again, like. A lackluster film. The thing with the Peter Parker and the Amazing Spider-Man Evil films, film. He was yeah, just like wrong. so, <laughs> so cool. So so like yeah. I'm hip. I know exactly what's no, going I, on. No, I get that. He is. He, he's not Peter Parker. Too attractive. He's Andrew Garfield. Garfield. Yeah. <laughs> I would have. Yeah, I really. I actually had high hopes for that. For I, I expect him to be nerdier. If they took yeah. like the Tobey Maguire sort of personality of Peter Parker, like the talking about science almost yeah. in. Everything that he has, yeah. but also just the That's kind, gentle kid yeah. that yeah. was just like, "Oh, I love my aunt." Not shut up, Aunt May, go yeah. to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
like yeah I said earlier like he's too in con- I feel like it's just too in control yeah. right yeah Peter Parker is th- everything's happened to him and he has to react yeah Andrew he's not Garfield. an awkward teenager yeah. Andrew Garfield is an attractive and like funny yeah. charming human he's the being. popular kid at he, school he's, he would be the popular <laughs> yeah. kid in he, my high school he also. would be the Harry Osborn he'd be the only boy he'd yeah, be the exactly. Harry Osborn while Dane DeHaan would be the Peter Parker essentially yeah, yeah cause Dane has that Sorry. weird talk about Dane DeHaan kind of... I had a lot of high hopes for him I told you about how much I love Dane DeHaan and yeah. I was, was like, he in that first movie? he wasn't no, no. he wasn't only on the second yeah, one yeah cause I remember watching the second I'm like I was like, I was like, I I constantly feel like I have to stand up for like a few movies. Like I know I've been telling uh, Kenneth and some of our friends, like how I thought Ant Man was gonna turn out kind of kind of good. I thought uh, Fantastic Four was gonna turn out good, even through like all that fucking bad news. I'm still on the fence about it. Yeah, Fantastic Four. Yeah, actually, I haven't seen that yet. No, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, the new one? Oh, yeah. okay. But it's... Watch the other two. We'll have a <laughs> <laughs> But it's like, it's like, I'm, I was constantly having to be like, guys, it's... Sure, it might not be that good, but it's probably going to be good. And I was Never like, trust a trailer, too. Good or bad. Just, yeah. It's and, good. like, that was the same thing I was doing. Mm. I did with Guardians, where I was just like, I constantly was just like, guys, this is going to be great. Just wait. And then with Guardians, I got lucky. And it yeah. was great. <laughs> yeah. It is great. Uh I remember that first trailer. I, that's, the first this is around where I stopped watching trailers. I don't watch trailers anymore. It's my guy. Yeah, <laughs> that's really smart. Because it's just marketing. They're selling you a movie, an idea of a movie, and that's not necessarily what the movie is. Anyway, so yeah, with Guardians of the Galaxy, it was a little uh, like I remember the clunky. First it was weird. It didn't the really work. The first trailer work. was like okay, because yeah. yeah. like I well, they made fun of themselves so much yeah. in the trailer too. Like True. nobody knows who we are, sort of like, thing. Haha, yeah. we're gonna do it anyway. And I'm like, like tired. And now we're and drinking that. And now we're drinking out of their mugs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, mine's a calendar company. Actually, I shouldn't say it because my mom works there. <laughs> but <laughs> back, back away from my water bottle. Let's go <laughs> back to like uh, Amazing Spider-Man Two. It was just like after watching it, I walked out and I went uh, messaged some of my friends and I was like. Guys, I was wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I retract my statement. I know I thought that Dane DeHaan was going to be good. You saw it before I did. I did. You and liked it. No, before I, I did. Liked the, you, I like the visuals. You I need to it. stop telling me you like movies when it, you don't. It's <laughs> giving him hope. You made me want to watch it opening weekend, and then I do, and I'm like, this is shit. <laughs> I'm okay, just give Kenneth the benefit of the doubt. You never trust your first... Uh, Opinion no. coming out of a movie, yeah. just like, but he's still now saying <laughs> that he's like, no, I walked out of that. It was as bad. I was like, I got text no, messages, you know, fucker. No, <laughs> <laughs> Me and my friend Tristan had gone to see the film, and we got out. And we were like, okay, and then yeah. we were just like, oh, as it went yeah, on, you need a process. Yeah, you have to like process I never feel comfortable talking about a movie as soon as I. And then out. I was just like, yeah. oh man, <laughs> <Yeah>. oh. <laughs> it starts hurting a bit. Like, and you're like, I was just oh. like, was that. Was that Electro? <laughs> oh. Jamie, I expected better. Is that, is that the Green Goblin? Yeah. Oh, oh. It's like a muted gray. Yeah. Muted gray goblin. Oh. Why is his hair in a swirl? Oh. Why is his hair so pointy? Yeah. <laughs> so bad. Fuck. Okay. I, I, just, I was looking at my notes here. I just wanted to bring up this one little interesting point here. Mm-hmm. I don't think the film is really doing this, but uh, I have... James Franco as Batman? Like, because he's so, like, not him playing so much as maybe, like, there's almost a remnant of maybe this being a commentary on the Batman. I mean, Just you like, have a guy who's lost his parents, who blames all the wrong people, <laughs> and starts beating fuck. up a poor kid. Because <laughs> that's all Batman does. He has a butler. <laughs> so does he. Is it? Is he yeah, has exactly. a butler. Exactly. No, I, I was making, that was the point I was oh, making. I was, I was gonna be like, yeah, yeah. but guys, yeah. you're wrong, yeah. he has a butler. Batman's yeah. <laughs> got a butler and he's British. Did you, so shut yeah. up. Did you guys know that the butler was supposed to be an illusion? What? What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth just walked away. <laughs> uh, Kenneth has left the building. I will. It's, it's, it's Sp- in Spider-Man 3. Yeah. Uh, the the butler was supposed to be illusion just like his dad was but it's supposed to represent the good, good. Yeah. okay so give Raimi credit for cutting that out yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look I, I love Raimi I think like yeah. I think that he's an fantastic <laughs> yeah, exactly. this is like incredibly uh, stylistic uh, I don't know about you two but I know me and Jeff really love Edgar Wright mm, uh, yes love Edgar yeah. and like who's very much influenced by Edgar Wright yeah, yeah. yeah. who like takes some of his like earlier like uh, Evil Dead 2 montage type of style and kind of makes it better at times 
And that comes from somebody who absolutely adores and thinks mm-hmm. Evil Dead 2 is like almost perfect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I don't know. There's, I just still have some issues with this. Like, yeah. I, the there only reason I feel issues. the issues don't, or your issues, you're having issues with this film is because. The story, like I said, it's yeah, clunkier, it's, it's, and it's oh, that's always the root of the problem. It's the story. Because if you start noticing these things, yeah. it's because the story isn't working on some sort of level. Mm-hmm. And I will agree, yeah, it's clunky, and you, because you hear those grinds, there's gears grinding, you start thinking, okay, what else is here to distract me? And you mm-hmm. start seeing those problems, the hair blowing away in the jazz scene, mm-hmm. which is hilarious. <laughs> oh, that was too funny. I'm but if the scene, yeah, if the think. script works, then you stop noticing that thing. And like I said before, it's just sensibility started to change. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, you kind of mentioning some issues with it. We're going to go to uh, Devil's Advocate now. Okay. 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 Finally. Yeah, uh, right. I feel like I've mentioned by <laughs> Maybe, but like now we'll like... Uh, I'll, get, I'll, get, I'll get more specific. So actually. you can... Do you want to start? Uh, I, yeah, I guess, I guess it's the obvious side, right? Every, the bad in the movie, uh, Sandman is underused. Yeah. He's has a very, yep. he's, he has an amazing intro, like, we're um, immediately empathetic with him, mm-hmm. right? We understand his position. He's very, I was almost thinking of him as the original dark counterpoint to Peter Parker. Like, Venom oh, okay. is the literal one, but Sandman, they're both st- essentially stem from the same incident, yeah, right? Ben Parker's like, yeah. dead, yeah. But uh, Sandman is on the opposite side of that. True. And so he's dealing with his own guilt. Mm-hmm. He's, he has his own family he wants to protect and stuff. And then b- because of accident, he becomes a Sandman, blah, blah, blah. I feel like that would be better utilized and like more evident had they not had to force Venom into yeah. it. No, yeah, exactly. So yeah, I'm, that's, I'm, I'm with you, but yeah, I'm, okay. like, I'm yeah. saying. So the problem is that he just disappears for like 50 minutes, right? He doesn't, yeah, I, just, I wrote down yeah. here, he doesn't actually like <coughs> run into Spider-Man until like an hour into the movie. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's the yeah, problem because yeah. it's, it's busy having to establish all that other stuff that was saving for the next movie. Okay, so yeah, Sandman underused, and that sucks because I love his character in this. Yeah. Uh, number two, mm-hmm. this all these problems are rooted in the script problems you were talking about. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. The amnesia plotline. Mm-hmm. It's a little on the nose, right? Yeah, it's like, just like, let's, for, let's yeah. make him forget like, so we remember. I feel like this was maybe a first draft that never got a second pass kind of thing, right? It's like, okay, we need him to... Essentially, be friends with Peter again, just f- fucking to make it work for now. We'll have him lose his memory. Imagine right? the final mm. cut when they're actually watching. They're like, "Shit, we didn't fix this." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Maybe they <laughs> <didn't> oh, fuck. <laughs> Maybe they wouldn't <laughs> notice. <laughs> Where were you that day? <laughs> it comes out in three weeks. I had amnesia. I forgot <laughs> to show up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah. Oh, by the way, I want to do a quick aside. A lot of. Another line delivery everyone always makes fun of, but I think works, is the so good. <laughs> <laughs> the pie. That was fantastic. Yeah. Are you like, kidding me? Yeah, like, because he's so deliciously evil yeah, at that, that scene, mm-hmm. right? He's totally fucking with yeah. Peter. And so when the waitress comes over, like he's totally had this act on. He's like trying to be like sympathetic with uh, I'm Peter. Sorry. I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. And then when he leaves, he just reveals his true evil bastard side. He's like, so, so good. good. So good. Right. And it's amazing. Okay. I really do want to try Quick aside, pie. though. I looked yeah. really good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love uh, Best food ever. Three. I couldn't really think of a good third one, and I, I didn't want to have to root all of these in the scripts. I just said the soundtrack. Because <laughs> I'm yeah. very, it, like, all, but this is the problem like with all the soundtrack or score. Because I love the score. No, score is no score is amazing. Yeah. Okay. So um, soundtrack. I think but this is just my problem with Alfred early two thousands popular yeah. music. <laughs> I mean, Fair. the first one is Nickelback, and this is just a whole different issue. Uh, but I, th- I believe this is the only one that Elfman didn't. Elfman wasn't in it. Anyway. But there's um, like there's remnants of his like yeah yeah like Still the responsibility can. theme like that's the one that just starts carries. the high yeah yeah Love that. fucking amazing so, one of the greatest we don't have superheroes <coughs> anymore well, barely like yeah. Captain America yeah. is really the only one who's actually kept and it can you hum it. Uh, bah, 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 don't bah. don't like quote him. That's not no, fair because like he's he's, I, I he's that scores, guy. He's that guy. Oh, I listen to scores oh, yeah. too. I just yeah. don't know that one. It's oh no, yeah. Um, no, but um, but I'm oh. saying he's that guy. <laughs> like he's that guy who would know everything. Okay, like, just like randomly. Okay, Andres, can you hum it? I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I buy my scores no, too. So. <laughs> Wait, hum it. I want to. I want to. I'm curious now. How does it go? Um, it goes like ba 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 ba. Oh, um, oh, I thought that was the Avengers ba, ba, ba. one. No, that's... Um, no, that, He's got that one, too. I actually, She's got that I listened one. to it, and it's like, that's not catchy. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I don't... Marvel's <laughs> sound... <yet>. New segment. <laughs> 
Kenneth Hump. Yeah. <laughs> <That's what it laughs> is. Every week we're gonna bring you back to like, a different pick sport. That tune. <laughs> yeah, pick that tune. Every week we're just we're just gonna record for the next two hours and we we'll use <laughs> that for the rest use of the that show. Forever. Don't show them behind the scenes magic. They don't know he's not actually coming back. Like that time we went off for two minutes about, should we cut this? <laughs> we should cut this. That's still my favorite moment. No. Leave yeah. this in. I want them to know. <laughs> okay, that, those are, yeah, so early 2000s, mid 2000s, popular music is not a strong side with me, so mm-hmm. whatever. But that's, uh, fuck, do you want me to think of an actual. Like, that's, that, that, oh, that that's yeah, that's yeah, that counts, yeah. Uh,. Nickelback was in the first one. That's yeah. Probably. Nickelback was the first. I, remember, I bought that said. soundtrack though. So. Yeah. Honestly, I'm, I'm gonna be that guy. Like, there's no one you hate uh, more than you like five years ago. So. Yeah. God. My, oh man. I was a, such a. Uh, <laughs> exactly. I sucked. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Stupid. What a fucking idiot. <laughs> you had Nickelback on your fucking. <laughs> oh god. Yo, you can do another one of these, and I'll defend Nickelback. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll go I'll, on the I'd, side. I defend Nickelback. Nickelback yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. Woo Let's have a butt rock episode. Creed. Creed. Oh shit. Creed. <laughs> okay, Andres, what are your three? Say three good things. I want to hear this. Um, I, want you to I hope I made it easier. The the scene in like the bell tower, like yeah. when he loses mm. the symbiote. Uh, I do not care for uh, Topher's Brock. Mm. I do uh, not think that he was good at well, that role. When I will he, say he's not so much a character in, a, in himself like as he is defined. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's not. He's defined completely by Peter, which is the, the thing is like yeah, he's not. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's I, not I, a character. I in don't have an issue with him up until that moment where he's supposed to like step up and be the bad guy. Like I think before that, I think I'm it just ties pretty well into everything. Like, no, but like, I'm, I'm saying like before that transformation, I was like, I don't, I don't care for his role. Mm-hmm. But I just like, I was like, it didn't upset me. But then once he actually became. Venom, mm-hmm. I was just like, it's like, this is... It's like the only reason he's there is to become Venom. Yeah. That's yeah. It. Which is... Oh, fuck. I'm gonna bring it up again. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2, the only reason for that speech Gwen Stacy gives is, yeah. I'm gonna die! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna die? Isn't it great to live, guys? <laughs> I remember being in the audience. Wait, so was that a good thing? I don't know. It kind of... No, no, I'm not, I'm not talking event. about, like, oh. Brock. I'm saying, the but besides scene? him showing up in the scene, but when he's losing them. That scene, that, that moment is great. Oh yeah, moment. like the actual internal, external sort of struggle sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. when he's like hitting the bell and like you see uh, the symbiote actually yeah. like jump off him and scream and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Those okay. moments are great. That's part of like uh, Raimi actually doing good stuff with the camera and doing good things with the film. I would say he's doing good stuff. It just, that scene works because anyway. it's very much ties. It's the one that most works on a story level because mm-hmm. we understand everything that's happening. Right. I like how you put you you put Sandman for for like a different reason on your on your cons, but yeah. I have him written as like one of the things I really do like. No, he's yeah, he's great. Because like up until the fight in the tunnel, mm-hmm. I think he's I don't say used greatly, but like no, but, he but totally... when he's when he's put in like the transformation scene, mm-hmm. he's great. Uh, when he mm-hmm. uh, and after he gets trans- like he changes and. He, uh, he sees the necklace down and he tries to go grab for it and he yeah. can't, can't. He can't get it. Uh, that great oh, it moment. Breaks my heart. Great. Yeah. That's yeah. a great Such scene. scene. Yeah. It's, the fight in the tunnel is also incredible. Mm-hmm. But then he kind of like, because he's, quote, killed off and like makes you yeah. think at point that he's gone. Mm-hmm. Um, then he just disappears. And then he comes back at the end of the movie after just lying on the ground for most of the fight. It's like, no. <laughs> and he, like, Spidey falls on the ground and he's like, surprise. Surprise. <laughs> I've been here all this time. Hey, <laughs> um, the third thing. A lot of your good things are starting to venture into bad things. I feel like you're under being underhanded here. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that was good, but then it comes back. <laughs> I, I guess take the bad with the good with this movie. I, I guess, <laughs> I guess that, would, that would change with the third one. Uh, J. Jonah Jameson. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, fuck. How did the I best mention? part of any yeah. of those perfect movies. Perfect yeah. casting. I would argue for him to be J. Jonah Jameson again. 100%. Yeah, I, want back. Back. I want him back. I want him back. back. Uh, I don't care about the general. Audience, but why is he back? Shut up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <I don't care. laughs> it works. Uh, He's the best. During the scene where he has to take the pills. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and... Uh, Elizabeth Banks as mm. his, as his secretary. Just, I liked her too. Just Elizabeth keeps Banks. like calling and it just like keeps ringing and he spills everything. Yeah. <laughs> Again, that's Raimi's heightened cinema because yeah. why is that bell and, and, shaking his desk? And it also right? works with like how much he loves like his uh, the, his classical cinema and stuff mm-hmm. like that yeah. too. 
And it's just like, it's just so fucking funny. Yeah, it's great. And at, at the end of the movie, when he's like, "What? Where's the camera?" Yeah, he's yeah. like, "Where's Peter? Where's Peter?" It's like, "Girl, I'll buy your camera." It's like hundred <laughs> bucks. Yeah. He takes it. He's like, Wait, uh, no film. "He's like, where's the film? Film's extra." <laughs> just, <laughs> like, <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> yeah. just like a disgruntled so old man, yeah. just so upset with the world. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mackenzie, do you have three things? Um, I don't want to sound like I'm copping out, but yeah, J. Jonah Jameson, favorite yeah, thing of that entire series. Um, Emo Peter, again, it was weird, but like you said, Sam Raimi, he has reasons for why he does things, and like I, I totally buy into it, like why he does that. Yeah. Um, I still, you know, going back and watching the movie, I'm still like, mm, yeah, just a little uncomfortable. Like yeah, and there are parts I do like. There are parts that I do genuinely like, mm-hmm. and parts I genuinely dislike. Um, but yeah, like, mm-hmm. like I would say, it's not a bad movie. It's not a great movie. No, exactly. But it's a movie. <laughs> <laughs> it is a. It's I'll a film. take it. <laughs> <laughs> film things happen. Yeah. It's a disappointing cap for a trilogy, yeah, exactly. and that is. How I've always just felt about it. Okay. But that was two. Jay Jonah. <laughs> Jay Jonah. Can, can I say him again? That's okay. Jay Jonah again. Jay Jonah again. <laughs> we'll take it. Um, I'm gonna assume that Kenneth, your three are Jay Jonah, Jay Jonah, Jay Jonah. Well, Jay, Jay, Jay. <laughs> um, Jay. The three Jonah, Jays. Jay, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Mic drop. Don't drop him. <laughs> and Peter's dance moves there. That was hilarious okay. and great. Yeah. Even though that ties into emo Peter. Mm. There he is. Um, Sick moves, bro. <laughs> Toby, if you're listening. Toby, if you're listening. Proud of you, man. Proud of you. You earned our thumbs up. <laughs> um, yeah, no, definitely the Sandman um, yeah. retransformation scene. That, yes. like, the, the score, the actual visuals of it was just fantastic. Mm-hmm. I love that entire scene. That was the best CGI mm-hmm. in the entire movie. It, it was so good. They worked so on that good. first. Again, not that, spent I would all say, the budget on that. Yeah. <laughs> I would even say it's not particular because it's great CGI, just because, again, it's tied very emotionally into... Yeah, sorry, like, tied into the emotion of the scene. Yeah, like, because if the music was not right for that scene, I right. feel like it would have worked, sure, but yeah. it also would yeah. not have been as good yeah. as that, that Everything coalesced into that scene yeah. where everything was working as it was intended yeah, and that's yeah, why that scene yeah. is the most memorable part was, that yeah that uh, movie there that part of the movie made me feel yeah. more um than the and rest you know what I'll, <laughs> even, I'll even extend further like just sandman in general like again sure the comics he's more he's a far more aggressive guy like he does have like redemption arcs he's like he's not all out a bad guy but he's far more aggressive he's he's, yeah. he's, he's a more angry guy but in this film i do appreciate um his what? humanity? Yeah, he's yeah. The, the, more simple the, yeah, yeah, he was a human. He's a dad. Like he's, he's a dad. dad who was trying to do the right thing, mm-hmm. fucked up royally. Yeah, yeah. His, that uh, stuff gets me the worst yeah. with movies yeah. too. Like daddy daughter yeah. shit, yeah. daddy yeah. kid shit. I'm like, I'm weeping. His, <laughs> his <laughs> arc so. kind of reminds me a lot of what they're planning on doing with Ant Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, it oh, does. Yeah, yeah, that does have a very similar oh, fuck feel. It. Oh shit! Good Which, pick up on this. The, the, the thing is, doesn't redeem the fact that you don't think Spider Man Two is great, but. Go fuck yourself. This <laughs> 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 our most heated episode. Damn, 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 damn. <laughs> I, I, I think his arc works great in, uh, in Spider Man Three. I hope it works well in Ant Man as well. I'm sure it will. But um, yeah, I like Paul Rudd more. I than love Hayden Paul for Rudd. Sandman for sure. Um, I really liked. No, I'm gonna be clear. I really liked the first Peter and Harry fight scene. Not the second one where he, there was just like in the house. Yeah, yeah. that's like eh, it. It was cool, but a little too much callback too. Not even, not even so much callback as much as just like I feel like if they didn't fight at all, all they had to do was dance at each other, <laughs> just like dance real hard at each yeah. other, just like a West Side Story. Yeah, just West Side yeah. Story, just like. <laughs> Where's that movie? What, yeah, that's. A, I want to watch that movie. Yeah, me too. I don't own it. <laughs> huh? I don't own it, but I'm gonna buy it. It's Michael Bay's favorite movie. No, I'm not. Wow. <laughs> no, what? Uh, I'm talking story. about. I wanted. I wanted to see the same Spider-Man three, except oh, it I was turned out. West Side Story. Oh. No, I, didn't <laughs> I, I thought we were just talking about West Side. Yeah, exactly. Okay. okay. See, I'm not the only one. I just want to see it all. The dancing like, here. Just like dancing. go watch Spider-Man, Spider-Man: Turn Off the Dark. Anyone remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. That got shut down. Oh man. 
Nope. But yeah, no, the first Never. fight where um, <laughs> they were flying through the city uh, and Peter was just getting the shit kicked out of him. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah this, 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 yeah. Comes out of nowhere, but it's... And him yeah. constantly trying to uh, grab like the ring yeah. as it's yeah, flying. It's very much pocket. an emotional yeah. stake there. Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah. I like that in that fight, Peter was on the back foot the entire time. Like, because yeah, that's, that's Peter Parker. Yeah. yeah, he's like, oh fuck, I hit, oh my god. I yeah. one arm behind your back. Um, and I feel like. Generally speaking, like I like that Peter didn't try and like knock Harry out. He was just like, well, "Listen, man, yeah. I didn't kill your dad on purpose. I jumped out of the way." Which is a nice counterpoint to when he later throws a fucking grenade at his face like, mm, because he's infected with the symbiote it. Spider-Man, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the easy way out. Yeah, it's like, ah, fuck it. He solves the problem, but not in the right True. way. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So that scene was pretty freaking sweet. I love that. Um, <laughs> pretty freaking sweet. Pretty freaking sweet. <laughs> not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Um, PFF. <laughs> we make acronyms on this show. Oh yeah. Um, Hashtag PFS. Put that. You gotta put that up. Yeah. 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 Hashtag PFS. Over and, over. and then um, the third. One, so I just. Do you think like, this movie is PFS or or, <laughs> or PFS or PFS? We need friggin shitty. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, and like yeah, like fucking shit. You wanna. J. Jonah yeah. Jameson, like I, I can't cannot, believe to talk about him. Mm-hmm. Like I cannot get over how well cast that guy was. Yeah. It's perfect. Just, I, yeah. Absolutely perfect. Just kudos to J.K. Simmons, because yes, yeah. yes, and more yes. Yeah. <laughs> Second best jazz movie he's been in? Oh, yeah. movie with Jack. <laughs> oh, oh, I actually have my own no. problems with Whiplash, but that's a different Really? Movie. Yeah. But I feel like you, it's... how do you feel about the movie though? Wait, cause did we not oh we saw Boyhood. Yeah, we saw right? Boyhood. Okay. I saw Whiplash I have, with you. Yeah. yeah. No. My problem with Whiplash is a great movie, mm. not a great. It's not saying very good things. I get what you mean. Yeah, you know I, can, I, mean? I can see what you're going for. I, so think you had the it's, I feel the same th- way about Place Beyond the Pines, which I was going to bring this up. How at the end I was going to say, you don't have to like it, just mm. it's, it works, right? Mm. Place Beyond the Pines is a movie I feel works, but I don't like because I very much disagree with it. Mm. There were, yeah, there were definitely like ideas where I was just like, oh, is this? Dude, yep, no this is ready. where we're going. <laughs> you seen Blue Valentine yet? No, Ooh. but I have a feeling I have the same problems with that direction. I don't know. Oh, we'll see. I don't know. It's a, tough, yeah. it's a tough watch. Uh-huh. Yeah, those, yeah, those, those are three, yeah. Those are three, three, yeah. Thank you. I like that we all sort of met in the middle. That was my yeah. intention from the beginning. I mean, that's a nice note to end on. Nice, instead of everyone nice punching. Capper. Yeah. Better than Spider-Man Better than Spider-Man Capper. Capper. <laughs> and now I swing out. <laughs> all right, <laughs> never mind. This didn't end on a bullshit. <laughs> okay, how do we outro this shit again? Uh, <laughs> Andres, or sorry, we'll start with the guests. Oh. Kenneth, Mackenzie, where can we find you if we're looking for you? Um, where I'm needed. At usually. the local pub. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, just I'm, like Spider Man. I'm the podcast of this uh, this place is yours, but not the one it needs. Right <laughs> so you guys will like call me on my cell. I'll probably miss a few, whatever. <laughs> Because he always doesn't bring a charger. <laughs> Shut up! I'm actually really upset. My phone's dead. <laughs> uh, uh, so but nowhere. No, um, so no, just nowhere. Like my, just I'm a Facebook, nomad. I guess. Yeah, like Kenneth Matthew Bemister. Well, You'll figure. You didn't out even say to... your last name in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. All right. All right. Now we'll we know. Feel confident. Feel yeah, confident. yeah. It's, uh, it's who I am. <laughs> it's sharing time. <laughs> yeah. Mackenzie. Um. Yeah. No. You can find me at Mackenzie BG on Twitter. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I don't really use my Tumblr or anything anymore. I kind of got over that. <laughs> I had a blog spot for like a yeah, week. Yeah, like, like, I just started with like scroll, scroll. Like yeah. I've lost an hour. Yeah. Like, oops. You're gone. Go outside. <laughs> it's Wednesday now. Fuck. <laughs> um, Andres, um, you have it easy. Yeah, I have it easy. It's like uh, I'm the idiot that makes it a different username for everything. Yeah, yeah oh yes, <laughs> classic. <laughs> on 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 Twitter and Letterbox, it's just at Pocket Writer. Mm-hmm. It's just everywhere. It's at Pocket. It's pretty it? much everywhere. Even on your PSN. Oh, PSN. Whatever. <laughs> Leave it out if you want. Add me on PlayStation or something. I don't give a fuck. Let's hang out. Is that multiplayer? Yeah, it is. Online multiplayer is so much fun. I want to play that game again. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> let me see if I can remember. <laughs> on Twitter, I am at Jeff underscore Ped. On Instagram, I'm Jeffrey underscore. Oh, Did we confirm this? we're doing oh. Instagram now too. I like yeah. my Instagram. It's the only thing I would actually update like mm-hmm. daily. Uh, Pedernera. And Letterbox, what? 
you remember what it is? It's just Jeff Ped. Yeah, there you go. That's the one where Andres, you're doing it from now on for me. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't remember. What's in your film queue, everybody? Kenneth? Um... Right now, I actually want to see Terminator Genesis. Same. Let's like, go. Right yeah. now. <laughs> like, when we're done. Like, get Let's, go. Right Let's go. Yeah. Um, Let's go see Khaleesi Connor. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I like that little reach. Um, either that or, like, Inside Out. I haven't seen Inside Out yet. Oh, go mm-hmm. see that. It's, like, my favorite movie of the year so far. That's, so, that's a pretty big deal. You can watch it. Because <laughs> I matter. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and. Yeah. Right. Like, those are the three. Those are the three I want to see. What's that come on next week? Yeah. Um, is that our next yeah. episode? Is that our next episode? <laughs> okay, we'll get, we'll get into it. Mackenzie? Bring me in. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. All right. For movies that are out this year, I want to, yeah, see Terminator. I want to see Ant-Man. Um, I haven't seen Jurassic World yet. Um, I don't... And you don't have to. No? Yeah? Okay. If you... Just watch Jurassic Park again. Just watch Jurassic Park again. Yeah. That's probably I... what I'll do, actually. <laughs> I just I feel like I have to. I feel yeah, like no, yeah, no, yeah. I have to give that to Chris Pratt, man. Like I I like the shit out of that guy. So I'm like yeah. I wanna I wanna. Oh, that's, I feel like that's a big problem with movies that makes Chris Pratt boring. Does it really? Yeah, and I got mad because I'm like Chris yeah. Pratt's amazing. Chris Pratt is a good like he's fun. And, yeah, like, he's enthusiastic. I thought he was Look a bit of a badass. Look at him. <laughs> like those guards of the galaxy mugs have been coming yeah, to play funny. this episode. Yeah. <laughs> good props, guys. Yeah. Good props. I feel proud. <laughs> Like, Props no. that no one can see. <laughs> this is an audio show. <laughs> Clink it. <That's> <laughs> there you go. It exists. <laughs> Chris, Chris Pratt was just by your ear. Yes. <laughs> Andres, what are you watching this week? Um, the Soft Skin, Band of Outsiders, uh, 25th Hour, Upstream Drink. Color. Oh, have you seen that? No, I, I haven't. Ask you, it's so good. I haven't seen it. That's why like, I saw primer because i saw yeah. it on uh, the american netflix and i was like might as well do try and do like, some sort of You're canadian you don't have access to that <laughs> you sick. i'm trying to do a double feature <laughs> with that you just uh, incriminated yourself he's my new co-host um is in some legal bond and in the theaters, I want to catch Tangerine and Ant Man. Yeah, um, that's a good. Yeah, I was hopefully I was gonna message my friend because we're going out tomorrow. I'm gonna ask, want to see Tangerine because I'm planning on seeing that. Other than that, it's the exact same shit I said last week. Nice. Because I had to watch Spider Man this week. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Ballad of Nothing. I just took too much out of you. <laughs> I can't I see lost. another movie again. <laughs> I thought we met in the middle, guy. <laughs> Wish. <laughs> Andres is like no. <laughs> yeah. uh, what else? The Mad Max trilogy, Jackie Chan. Movies. Oh, I still haven't seen the new oh, Mad man. Max. That is oh, oh, the top of my list. No, that, top, is, that, that is the top okay. of my no, list. No, no, kick Terminator. I'll go see yeah. No, yeah, no, let's go see Terminator, Mad Max. Jurassic World. Get rid of those. Yeah, I yeah, do want to see Terminator more than Jurassic World, but Mad yeah. Max is the one I want to see the most. Terminator is low on my list. I haven't seen it yet, and I don't. Know. I've only ever seen T two. T2 is the really? best one. Yeah. T2, uh, watch, Termi- watch the first Terminator. Terminator 1 is really, really good. Terminator yeah. 2 is just like one of those sequels that's like, Where you're just what? Like, Holy shit. <laughs> you Spider Man 2. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. Like, you can, there, there are guys, sequels guys, that. But when's Green Lantern? Follow <laughs> that's what I'm. <laughs> I would watch it, man. I, I'd still watch it. I'd be like, oh, this is Ryan terrible. Reynolds does <laughs> any superhero. I'm like, okay, fine. Like, sure. Wait, wait, whatever. Wait, wait, heard, <laughs> I'll watch it. You've heard some rumors, right? <laughs> this is a, yeah, Deadpool's his last thing. Mm-hmm. Last no, well, not your time. I'm not talking about yeah, no. Like, uh, are they actually going to make a second oh. Green Lantern? Not second <laughs> Green Lantern, but they want to do Green Lanterns. Oh yeah, no, they want to do just like one. They want to do Hal Jordan and John Stewart, and okay. yeah, Kyle. but Tyrese is going to be John Stewart, which is weird. These are all rumors. Like, yeah. is it rumors? Yeah, God, Tyrese. I'm sure Idris Elba said he was going to be. Oh, the Green I want Idris Elba to be everything. Yeah, yeah right. so, Idris, can guy. you play? Uh, How? Can you play Mother? Can you be my dad? Can you be my dad? Sorry, I've already got obligation. No, that's cool, man. That's great. You know how hard it was to ask <laughs> <laughs> to find you. Even? How did you find me? Stupid! Stupid! No, stupid. <laughs> they cut that out. Uh, yeah, we do is that real. We do real. Is that it? I think that's it. it. Is that how I ended? <laughs> like, no, just cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> Disappeared. <laughs> <laughs>